Hey y'all, it is your girl Marquilla. Welcome to my channel. It has been a while, <laughs> um, but um, I'm here to give my seven month post-op update after weight loss surgery. So let's get right into it. introduction my name is Marquilla I am a mom of four I am a wife um, I live here in beautiful Chicago and I had weight loss surgery specifically the gastric the vertical gastric sleeve surgery back in October of 2021 I'm officially seven months post-op um, if you are new to my channel I am mostly right now just only sharing or creating content around my weight loss journey and a little bit of mental um, wellness. I am also a life and wellness coach and soon to be adding health in there as well as a you know health coach. Um, and every Thursday night, I am live here on my page um, with my live show called The Whole You Candid Conversations where I am joined by guests every week talking about different topics relating to everyday life. So make sure you guys tune in for that. So I'm sort of absent, but not absent. <laughs> so let's get on, get into it. I wanted to share just a few little things about um, my weight loss update or my post-op update since I am officially seven months post-op. And I will just share just a few things about what I've learned so far on my journey. So let's get into. Well, number one, I officially lost 76 pounds. I was at, before my uh, surgery, I was 264 pounds. Um, that was my highest weight. Actually, my highest weight was 273 pounds. And I managed to lose some weight just by following some of the new um, nutritional, nutrition plan, I said nutritional, nutrition plan that was given to me by the dietitian um, very early on when I started my journey. So like, I had my consult and like in a month later, I was speaking to a nutritionist. That was actually my goal just to do, to focus on nutrition and not have the surgery, but here we are. But anyway, so I was originally about 273 pounds and I managed to lose 10 pounds or um, 11 pounds because I went down to, um, no, I'm sorry, nine pounds. I went down to 264 pounds. And um, before surgery, I lost, um, some more weight and right the day of surgery, I was at 252 pounds and now I am 188 pounds. So I lost over 73 pounds. If you wanna add those 10 pounds um, where I was my highest weight, I guess you can say I was, um, uh, I've lost 83 pounds overall, <laughs> but if not, I'm sticking with 73. So anyway, um, that's where I am. I feel great, I feel lovely and yes i look amazing too and i went from wearing a size 18 20 and i'm now in a 13 and that's like junior size pants but i wear a size 13 in in, in jeans um i went from wearing a 2x shirt to a large um sometimes medium sometimes extra large i am you know i have large breasts so you know they they i did lose weight there but you know they're still where they are and so sometimes i still have to wear a bigger shirt but most of the time i'm fitted into a large shirt um i'm trying to think of anything else but yeah that's the weight loss part i want to talk a little bit about you know some things that i have experienced within these seven months and what i've learned so let's talk about what i've experienced so I know like the burning question and I've actually gotten this question on my IG and if you're not on and if you are on IG and you're not following me, follow me at Marquilla BSG. That's Marquilla V as in Victor, S as in Sam, G as in GOAT. So follow me there um, where I share more than just my weight loss journeys, but I'll, journey, but I also um, offer tips and things like that around life and wellness. So join me over there. But anyway, I did get a few questions there and one of them was, did I lose hair? So in the beginning, I didn't lose hair. Um, actually, that's kind of a lie. I have PCOS. So um, 
if if you've ever had an experience with PCOS, you know that you do naturally like some people lose their hair. Um, some people just shared. I've kind of went in between that for years where I would shed hair um, or I would lose hair altogether. I have had bald spots. I usually get them like at the top, like, you know, at the you know top of my head. Um, but I normally would go between having really thin hair to semi thick hair. Um, and my hair always shed. So that was my experience having PCOS. So naturally when my hair is shedding now, it's kind of hard to tell whether it's from the surgery, me not, you know, um, from the surgery or is it PCOS? And I kind of, right now, I feel like it's a combination of both. Um, I had my hair in braids for like a month. And when I took them down, I've, I've had, I've wore braids before, but when I took them down, I really was like struggling. Like I was really tangled up in, I lost a lot of hair from that. So my hair is, is thinning out at the top. So, um, but I will, I have a dermatologist and she recommended Nutrafol. I have not taken that yet. Um, and I'm going to take it. Hopefully I'll be able to take it, but I have to get clearance from my surgeon. So that's where we are. Um, if you're wondering why do your hair fall out, how, uh, why does your hair fall out? Um, it typically happens um, because you're not getting enough protein. And, and it also can be, you know, the fact that 80% of my stomach has been um, cut. So um, I'm not getting as much nutrients as I was before. And so I have to make up for that by eating protein. Um, my doctor, doctor does not recommend me do protein shakes or protein powders. So I'm away. I stay away from those. So I solely rely on the food that I eat. Um, I track my food. And of course, you know, the tracker is saying that I am actually getting more than enough protein over what is recommended by my doctor. I probably eat between 80 to 90 grams of protein a day. Um, I'm, it's recommended that I eat about 60 to 85 a day. Um, so I, according to my tracker, I do get in enough protein and I make sure that is what I eat first. Um, but yes, it, I, I think it's, it could be a combination of both. I still ex have some issues with, um, or symptoms with my PCOS, so I still have things around that. So it could be PCOS related, I don't know. However, um, my dermatologist record recommended Nutrafol, so I will give you guys an update once I have clearance from my doctor to be able to take that, and I'll share my journey on that for anyone who has questions relating to that. All right, let's talk about what I've learned, what I've, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I am on what I've experienced. The other thing that I've experienced is between months four and six is I have stalled and you know lucky for me I have still lost the weight I would lose about an average of four to five pounds within each month there are those are two months so um it was very it became it slowed down a bit and sometimes I would go a whole week not losing anything so um it was very slow um it was very discouraging but however I had to remember to trust my body and understand that the weight will move once it feels safe to do so. And so I just kind of just focused on everything else, my eating, um, exercising. I haven't been exercising that much, but I just focused on everything else. And sure enough, um, I was about 194 the last time I went to the doctor. So I'm 188. Count that if you will. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and I and just the, and just within these few days, I've lost a good amount of weight because I think I was at like 192. I'm not good at math on top of my head, guys. So I think I was at a, at about 192 like last week, and then I want to say by Friday, I was down to 190, and then now I'm at 198. So that's four pounds, um, and then yeah, it's about six pounds. So that's really good. Um, I'm hoping, I'm very hopeful for this week. So let's see what happens. I mean, maybe month seven is where I break the stall. I don't know. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that. I have had heartburn. Um, my doctor, I was doing my part to make sure that um, I had my, I was taking Pepsi once a day. And then my doctor gave me a different prescription. Um, I'm going to totally screw this up, but I believe the name is um, Metro. So, I don't know. But anyway, 
um i have started taking it and i've literally took it, taken that for about two days i took it two days ago and i haven't had any heartburn so hopefully that will do the trick but i have had heartburn i was told that it's normal but it's nothing major for me i know some people have severe heartburn but i that's not my experience um i do realize that certain foods certain drinks trigger it um i don't you know drink a lot of drinks so i do drink coffee and i do uh, a lot of crystal light or like the low sugar low calorie sugar packets or not sugar packets <laughs> flavor packets in my water and i do notice like some of those flavors like lemon and things like that they kind of irritate me um sometimes it's food definitely if i eat too fast i still struggle with that eating fast so those things all contribute to my heartburn so i am fully aware what causes it i just have to be mindful of what i'm eating and drinking to make sure that i'm not irritating it but overall i have been fine with that prescription that my doctor prescribed for me um and the other thing let's see the other thing is just like maintaining you'll get to a point where now you're introducing more foods into your diet and it literally comes down to maintaining that diet um continuing to exercise and that has been really that has been a challenge for me within the last month and a half um especially because i'm a little bit more busier work has been completely stressful and um, i guess i'm right now i feel like i'm sort of leaning to some sort of balance but it's really been hard to maintain those things and um i just want to encourage you to you know have a plan in motion for when these type of things come up and try your best to stick to what you can do and one of the things that my therapist said to me is that if i can't if you know if i work out for an hour if i can't do one hour at one in one setting like split it up like do 30 minutes here do 30 minutes there and so don't beat myself up over not getting in any exercise it's actually recommended that you get at least 30 minutes of exercise for five days so um, if you can't do an hour, don't try to push yourself. 30 minutes is just great. And if it only consists of you walking, that is awesome too. So that is kind of what I am dealing with within my seven month surgery. So I just wanted to share that. And I think I was gonna share, I don't know why I lose my train of thought, but I think I was gonna share like, what have I learned? So let's talk about that. So what I've learned on my journey is that it is um, continued work. It's not hard work. It's all about your mindset around it um, and just encouraging yourself. Each and every day, like weight loss surgery is a tool. You still have to put in the work. I say that all of the time because it's true. Always have a plan in motion. If you're not a, good at planning, that's fine. Come up with something that works for you. Um, be patient with yourself because you're going to get discouraged. You're going to experience a stall. Something else is going to come up. You might not be happy with how you look as you transition. And that is fine. Just be fine with your, just be patient with yourself. Give yourself grace. I always say, um, allow yourself to feel what you feel, but don't just sit in it. Process everything and figure out ways that you can combat the inner critic on the inside that is feeding you negative things like your your own negative self-talk you know replace those with self-affirming thoughts positive thoughts um affirmate you you know just build yourself up and continue to surround yourself around people and things that enhances your growth um or supports your personal growth so this is definitely a journey and it's not just about the weight loss it's everything it's the mental aspect of it because as you go along you will find out that you will discover new things about yourself you will become a completely different person i am a completely different person after surgery i have definitely learned some things about myself i am exploring these new things about myself i am um learning how to get out of my comfort zone and just be me and so that is one of the greatest rewards about this process it's um i've done my home my own mental work before having weight loss surgery but throughout all of that this is what i'm learning because it's a new challenge it's a new thing it's a new process that you go through in this journey and it's all about self-discovery and you're not just gonna lose weight you totally become a completely different person and with that your thinking and everything changes 
And so I just want you to be encouraged, continue to encourage yourself, give yourself grace, be patient and trust the process. And if you have questions, feel free to ask those questions. If you need help, feel free to let let me know. And there are other people that talk about it, have, that are going through it or have gone through it that can offer you support. So that is my advice. Other than that, it has been on the up and up. <laughs> um, I'm always focusing on the good instead of the bad. So thank you guys for tuning in. Until next time, I'll try to do some more pop-ups. But if you guys have any questions or if you love to, if you want to hear um, me discuss about anything particular, please leave them in the comments and make sure you do not forget to like and subscribe. And if, like I said, if you are on IG, you can follow me over there at Marquilla VSG. Link is right in my bio here. Um, I am also on Facebook um, at the whole ULWC. Um, and that is where I do talk about my weight loss journey as well as um, some life and wellness tips. Um, to improve your overall well-being so thank you guys for joining me it has been a pleasure and until next time hopefully not a long time i will talk to you then stay blessed guys